and we have to do the news. I'm here with a lady in green. How are Be you? Be polite. Oh, how are you? I am darling? very well, thank you. You're looking good. There's thank something you. about you today. What mm. is it? Maybe my dress. Yeah. The color, think. maybe. Yeah, the color. Maybe my hair. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Such women are always difficult, doing their hair like this. We're difficult, like yeah, how? Natural. One more more natural. What, what what is is mm. Please, if you know it is true, you're a man, give us text. The WhatsApp number will be, will be, will be on your screens very soon. <laughs> Fred, please put the WhatsApp number. Della Anthony is in hold. Della, I read your message uh -huh. this morning. Della, it's true, right? Oh, my God. Listen. Women with such hair, they are difficult. We will be back with it. I'm not saying any, any other thing, but thank you so much uh, for following up. We will be back. You'll be amazed what later we? this week. Okay. I'm not saying anything. Okay. Uh, here's uh, a message that says, I strongly uh, don't agree with citizens attacking public institutions in order to address their concerns, but it is also a fact that some of these institutions don't work or they respond too slowly to our concerns. The police must be seen to be on top of their job. Uh, Ankara uh, Tuna sending this message, and this is a very worrying trend, the fact that people, you know, take the law into their own hands. They, we're either picketing, and picketing is decent, we're either picketing, we're demonstrating in another form, or, you know, we're, we're actually gathering members in, uh, Look, in the community the is, and asking them the to attack is, a certain the institution. Thing, the thing is, we've had incessant reports and live incidents of, of this nature for a long time, mm. especially since we had a certain this transition we the police have not clamped down on this and once you 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 give a certain sense of lack of agency and the lack of inaction to the citizenry they feel that it's normal to take actions into their own hands it's sad. which is wrong it's sad i don't you know see, where we're headed you see, you see you see now we're having normal members of the public do what they have to do yeah. to the public it's it takes unacceptable it is something that... It's scary, actually. Yes. It's scary, because you never know. Uh, look at what happened in Somanya yeah. uh, with, with, with people attacking the ECG. I mean, how does that address your concern? Yeah. How does that address your concern? It doesn't make sense in one. Uh, well, if you've got a message, you can send it to us. If you've got a thought to share with us, here's one that says, please help me wish my younger brother, Mr. Charles Hayfern, a happy birthday. May the good Lord grant him more years with good health from your elder brother. That's from Papa Kwesi. Uh, so to you, Mr. Charles Hayfern, a quiet your birthday. We're uh, wishing you a happy, happy birthday. Hope that you have a great day today. Let's do the newspapers now. Roland has said, uh, which paper? Mm, we'll start with the Daily Graphic, no, because right. the thing that we're talking about uh, apparently is on the front page of the Daily Graphic. Irate youth attack Somania police, and this uh, is on page three. It says, Irate youth of Somania yesterday went on rampage and vandalized the Somania police station and other property following the arrest of Ebenezer Jones Adamate the assembly member for the area. Adamati is suspected to have led irate youth to cause unlawful damage to the Somania office of the elect electricity company of Ghana last Friday. The youth bent the only police duty patrol vehicle with registration number, etc., etc., and vandalized the police station mm. in the community. This was after they had done the same to the, 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 the ECG local office there. This is unacceptable. Seriously. This is unacceptable. Why do you do some... Anyway. I hope that the people that they've arrested, they will, be, they will prosecute them swiftly so that people don't think they can wake up and do whatever yeah. it is that they want to do. We don't live in a jungle. There's even order in the jungle. Yeah, there there's is. order. Yeah. It's only when Tarzan gets attacked by people from outside that you, you can. It's there's a order. shame. Uh, we have other stories. A cop shot dead by patrol team mistaken for armed robber. And Lance Corporal Robert Kumi Akai is also there talking about mistaken identity and people being mobbed and yeah. shot left, right, center. We have a lot of these incidents. There's mm -hmm. one of you on social media. I don't know whether you know about Yeah, the, is it the, 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 I mean, the... There's an, a army. young army gentleman. Exactly. Apparently, I'm told that he is leading a certain group of, is it platoon or whatever it is, somewhere in the central or western region. The central region. Ah, and there are pictures surfacing on the internet with yeah. these two children and a wife. Yeah. And... The, the army yeah, he has went jogging or something. Yeah, that's, that's what we And then he had heard. his uh, pistol strapped around him in Mufti. And I hear the youth of the town mistook him to be an arm robber or something on the side. Yeah, that's, that's the story. The uh, but the army has a statement which we'll be sharing with okay. you. They do have a statement? Uh, yeah, there's a statement that's been issued. 
uh, by the Ghana Armed Forces. We will share that with you uh, uh, in a bit, coming up on your screen. But let's uh, look at the other stories there mm. on the front page of the Daily We have Attorney General to retrieve all stolen public funds, 17 member team tax to do the job. And we know that uh, Captain Smart uh, led um, thousands of people onto the streets of Accra. It was on Friday. And uh, we had some resultant effect. Uh, back page, Kwaika. That's the Korea International Cooperation Agency to support Ghana Health Service with some $9 million to improve community-based primary health care in the upper East It's a lot of money. But they did How much money? But they did use the cost basis. How much stuff? You see? How much money are they talking Nine about? Million. Nine million. Nine million uh, dollars. That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money yeah. for many of the communities. Okay, so let's, uh, Roland, um, I did yeah. mention that the Ghana Armed Forces had issued a statement. Let's just share that with everybody else before we move that. And this has to do with uh, what we've been hearing and seeing pictures of, uh, of an army guy who was lynched by a mob somewhere in the central region. Here's the statement. It says, the Ghana Armed Forces regrets to confirm the death of its officer, Captain M.A. Mahama, of 5 BN of Infantry. Initial reports indicate that the officer was lynched by locals of Dentro Boise in the central region whilst he was jogging at about 8.30 a.m. on Monday, 29 May 2017, and the circumstances yet to be verified. The officer was a detachment commander of our troops on operational duties in the general area. A high-powered fact-finding team led by ch the chief of Army staff is proceeding to the scene of the incident to ascertain the facts of the case. The Ghana Armed Forces is working closely with the police and other security agencies to unravel the full facts of the case. In the meantime, our troops have been urged to remain calm while action is being taken to bring the perpetrators of uh, this uh, dastardly act to book. And this is the statement that's been uh, released uh, by the Ghana Armed Forces. And if the circumstance really is confirmed, Really don't know, like, where are we going in Ghana? I mean, we're hearing people yesterday, some uh, people also blocked the road, bent the tires. The gentleman will be on your they, screen very soon. Yeah, bent some tires young guy. and, and things like that. Only to hear this news this morning, really, what is happening? It's a song. If you suspect somebody of being a thief or an armed robber or whatever it is, is it your job to kill them? Is that justice? Is that, is that what we're doing now as a country, as a people? Wow. And this is a gentleman who survived by a wife and children. Two children. Yeah. No, a nice it's a shame. Course. And, and uh, now that we know that the, the Ghana army is making moves, is actually going to the scene today, I know that we will get some real quick uh, details of exactly what happened. Um, and what can we say? Uh, our prayers are with the family. Um, oh, Ghana. If you live in that community and you saw what happened yesterday, send us a message. If you took part in it, report yourself to the police. We're still doing the newspapers here on the AM show. Yeah, we have um, the Daily Guy. The Daily Guy says, um, cop gunned down in Kentampo. Uh, chaos in so many residents attack police station. Uh, NDC loots confess with sole sourcing Ajwasafo. And uh, we have other stories as well. Chalipa. Ah. Hmm. Anyway, this is so sad. I'm so sad for the army gentleman. Yeah. Nice guy like that, too. Yeah. It's a shame. You're done? Yeah. Uh, that's the Daily Guide right there for you. Let's do the Finder newspaper, front page of the Finder this day. Baumia wants appointees and fractions on state resource spending won't be tolerated. Uh, Dr. Baumia in a group photograph with dignitaries at the opening of a conference uh, on the paper. Okay, so that's where uh, Ajo Asafo also spoke on the procurement issue. Also, the $2.25 billion bond saga, uh, PR motivated by political spin gone bad. Senor Hossi, CEO of the CBOD, is on the front page with the story. Also, Cocoa Board Field Farmers World Bank reports, ease of doing business, Ghana to overtake Mauritius 
in three years. That story is on page two. We'll touch on it uh, a bit, but uh, bits and pieces of the major headlines in the finder. This one says the Vice President, Dr. Alhaji Mahamadu Baumia, has charged government appointees and heads of institutions to work with integrity to protect the public purse as government would not tolerate inefficiencies and wasteful spending. He cautioned that one area where government will keep a close eye on would be in the area of procurement to safeguard the public purse and thus urged all to be diligent in their procurement activities. Uh, government has made known its resolve to put Ghana ahead of Mauritius on the World Bank's ease of doing business ranking within the next three years yeah i know what you're thinking this is like a hard task right uh, speaking to the finder on the side of the launch of the business regulatory strategy to steer ghana to that feat minister for trade and industry alan chiramating said ghana would even overtake the indian ocean island state well before the three years if ghana is able to implement reforms in four key areas of its economy you might want to read the rest of the story to figure out which areas really uh, if you want to if we want to bypass Mauritius which is hard by the way what we've got to do to get there uh, this uh, reports from the World Bank uh, on cocoa board failing farmers story by Isaac Adu in a crisis a World Bank report says the Ghana cocoa board has failed in stabilizing farm gate prices at levels that permit farmers to earn an adequate return on their lands, labor, and capital. The report published this month, entitled Fiscal Consolidation to Accelerate Growth and Support Inclusive Development, criticized successive governments for prioritizing revenue generation and treating the final price received by farmers as a secondary consideration rather than the objective. There's a lot more in that report. Uh, the, Mr. Joseph Boahine, a Cocoa Board CEO, comes with a story in the paper. Also, police assure safety of Somania, uh, safety at Somania and its surrounding. Ghana to become desert in 39 years. That's according to an NGO. If we'll continue the way we're going with Galam Say Lots more other stories in the finder today. Roland. We have the Ghanaian Times. Front page, Ghana Mali pledged to strengthen ties. Uh, stolen public funds. Attorney General sets up committee to recover punished corrupt public officials. I didn't read this from the Daily Graphic, uh, the whole story, but let me just get a gist of this. But it seems it has recurred here. Uh, a 16 member team has been set up by the, uh, by the upper and auditor general to retrieve monies misappropriated by public officials. And the team will take legal action against persons cited in the AGES uh, report. Uh, with, with a pilot of some 2013, 2014, and 2015 cases. That is a uh, report within those periods. And uh, Mr. Daniel Domalavu, the acting a AG, discloses yesterday at a press conference organized by the Institute of Chartered Accountants Ghana, that's the ICAG. Mm, that's a good thing, I believe. It's all part of uh, efforts to make sure that those who uh, read the system of cash belonging to the state, really really retrieve them to the state and get punished for it not just uh, retrieving those cash it might be a very good thing if you ask me well other stories that very good thing official. i want to see the action yeah i am tired of what they are saying you after all the, yeah. hasn't the reports been there <laughs> It's always if they good. wanted to take action, how many, how many <laughs> of us as press people haven't covered yeah. uh, the proceedings of the oh, Public Accounts Committee, Committee of Parliament? Yeah. Yeah. It's always live, right? Yeah. We even spent state resources yes, to cover it live. Uh, didn't we? And then we have officials The who last one that happened really with the vehicles yeah. and the auctioneer and the yeah. things. <laughs> as a four holder yeah. that went for, so, is it 300 or 3,000 Ghana cities? So if you're going to I take. I would love to buy a four holder that is only three, four years old. Oh, well, but to be fair. Pick up. To be fair, to be fair. I mean, I think there are certain details in that in the vehicles that were that were sold, and 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 the fact also is that there was a, an institution that did um, how do you call that thing? Ex exactly, but we're talking about the other processes in getting rid of of the assets, and if they wanted to take an action, the but they shouldn't tell us. You don't think you don't think Acts. in Ghana in Ghana we use laws eh? and do bad things. <laughs> We're so smart. we do it. We do the bad thing with due process. We're smart, aren't we? <laughs> well, so let's look at the next story. And uh, ministers, officials, and a good training in public procurement law. Uh, I read Somania youth uh, attack police station. 
and those are the stories we have on the front page of the graphic. Mm. But uh, uh, the, the, the president is with President Keita uh, of Mali as part of his West African tour. On the back page, we have construction of new calf maternity unit commences. Mm, that's good. And uh, the graphic story didn't even mention multimedia during news. Okay. You know, Shadi and as you. <laughs> when I, when I catch oh, I'm, sure, I'm sure I'm sure anybody that, that, that talks about uh, the baby the mother and baby Look, they just said that the Rebecca <laughs> foundation, <laughs> Rebecca <laughs> foundation the project was launched <laughs> by the first lady with support of the second lady yes and we fundraising exercise okay. you can take us out for all sure. we okay. uh, Ghanaian terms let me be nice <laughs> Ghanaian terms they haven't seen us they didn't Ghanian, see Ghanaian terms they didn't see next to die they yeah. didn't they refused to hear the special, talking points the first edition yeah. of a special assignment yeah. <laughs> okay so we have uh, but we, we, we don't care once we have Mania residents coming. also demonstrating <laughs> over poor roads and they also went about burning time yeah yeah it's on the back page of the mm -hmm. paper though yeah Th that's where we are so you know we, Roland, we, we go I, around burning yeah but it's 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 tricky listen we must have a conversation. We mm -hmm. must have an open conversation as a people I in Ghana. I think Ghana. tomorrow we should do something like we that. We must have an open conversation. We can even have that conversation today. Listen, what do we want? Mm -hmm. No, we what can chronicle we the want? issues and do a comprehensive, um, perhaps a discussion on it. We, we invite religious we people. Uh, Is it also so because... Charlie Ronan, Police? I don't know. Forget about the religious people. I'm thinking. Listen, I think this, this is... It, it looks like we, we're beginning to have this mindset that says... If you want something done, you either demonstrate, I mean, you can get people together and do something. That's the only way you will get attention on yourself. Uh, is that the kind of, I mentality. mean, like, is that, yeah, is, is that, is lawless, that where we are? Is that, yeah, it's terrible, but we must have an open conversation. Let's figure out as a people how we want to go. But also the security agencies, you're mm. watching us go the way we're going and you're sitting down and you're watching. This will soon get out of hand if you don't do anything about it. It's terrible. You done? Yeah, uh, I have. Uh, are you done? Or you have I, I haven't started anything. Okay. I really this French newspaper. I can't relax, imagine relax. what happened in the central Please, uh, region. Get her some ice water. Um, let's do the Daily Dispatch. Uh, the Daily Dispatch newspaper. Ice water. No, 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 no. Well, I'm, I'm thinking about a husband and a father who has been, you know, killed. Yeah. Lynched. Yeah. In Suspected that kind of manner. Um, in, 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 in that kind of if way. If the person was not using the arm, you just go and ask, who are you? Oh, gosh. Why do you go about... But we have to be asking, Roland, as part of the conversations that we're having today, I think the conversation has begun. What do we think of the police? Nobody even wants to... What do we think of the police? Nobody wants to... They're not like the, uh, the, our first point of call. They're not. No longer. But, but they should be. No longer. Somebody be. put on Facebook, was asking, was it yesterday, for a number to call the fire service, and that there was a, a house on fire somewhere in Akbuba. And somebody, somebody, I think somebody was asking, um, you know, for him to call the fire service. Somebody was, he wasn't even asking for a number. He was just announcing on Facebook that there was a house on fire. And then somebody responded and said, call the fire service. And then he said, Jack, I think the person who responded apparently like works with the radio station. He said, oh, I was, I was going to call you the radio station. So it was like, the first point of call is not the fire service, it's not the Ghana police service. It's a radio station or we take the action ourselves. Let's do the Daily Dispatch. Uh, the Daily Dispatch newspaper, book on Ghanaian elections from 1951 to 2016. Uh, Ghana is a pace setter in the African elections. I guess details of that book would uh, tell you this. Uh, also, how Arsenal exposed Chelsea's weakness, uh, and there are profiles of two great men on the front page of the paper, the CDS. Uh, okay, let me, no, I, I want there, Roland. Just give me a second. Uh, that's the a hey, Lieutenant General Obed Buama Aqua. Okay, so there's a profile on him, uh, and then also Major General Azuri Ayamdo uh, as well. So uh, that's uh, that he's a Chief of Army Staff, and then the Chief of Defense Staff. Their profiles in the Daily Dispatch newspaper. Roland, we're done? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
Ado from Pram Pram is asking, I don't know if it's a personal question uh, or... Mm, I have business and financial uh, times. Yeah, yeah, he wants to know, like, who designed your jacket. This jacket. Uh, <laughs> I bought it on this I'm sure it's from China. Ado from Pram Pram. <laughs> what are you arriving at? Nancy, you know. Marco told me Chinese, I jacket. What's no Oh, no, Pram Pram. You can no no get your angel. It's a meal. It's even from Turkey. Let's finish up with the business. I'm not a miss. I'm a Marco Tommy jacket. I shall move. How do I? How do I look? Okay, so we are, we're doing the Business and Financial Times. Yeah. It has on the front page, uh, investors in limbo, a security and exchange commission is left without a board. Uh, apparently, Felix uh, Nyakupong bows out of, Uni of Unibank, and now we're told that Dr. Kwabna too, the 4 2 is going to take over. He's the current CEO of the bank, and so that will be pending approval from the Bank of Ghana. But there's an interesting story, Mamavi, is on electricity for all. You know, since independent we've been trying to expand electricity coverage to all communities yeah but apparently the millennium challenge corporation the millennium Ch challenge corporation is the u.s body that uh, do the assessment and looks at the feasibility and the agreements etc for the compact for the various countries that you have the agreement with so they undertook a study a mm -hmm. feasibility study on a power sector you know prior to the concessions and all that and they are saying that if we want to do well in the power sector, we have mm. to stop expanding electricity coverage. Oh. Wholesale. That, Charlie, that's an election promise, though. So <laughs> or they don't know. I don't know how we're going <laughs> to do with this. And the report it's an election is prepared promise. by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers uh, and focuses on improving ECG's efficiency. Mm. So you see, private sector, when they can, they want to be efficient. They want to, it should be small, profitable, and efficient. Yeah, I mean, but, but no, it's got but to be, wait, wait, hang on. I think for, for any business, I mean, any business, except that government is not necessarily into business, any business-minded person, you want to be efficient and make profit before you begin to expand. I mean, or forget about even the profit, but you want to be efficient before you expand. Okay. That's re more reasonable. Right. Yeah, okay. but to a government and to a politician, Charlie, it's no. got to be wholesale. In, in, in not even that, even to a people. Mm. Because, you see, if we, if we want to see the ECG as a private entity, then we cannot operate within the current scheme of things, mm. of providing efficient or perhaps reliable power supply also to uh, the citizenry, but also expanding at the same time. Mm. Because the communities that we expand power to don't always have the capital yeah. to pay for efficient power supply. Yeah. And you also need to expand electricity coverage to those communities yeah. because, one, they are citizens of Ghana. Yeah, definitely. And they have their right to enjoy electricity. Yeah. So uh, I, I think well, that we can't eat our cake and have it. Exactly. It's we a catch-22 situation for us. Well, see, I think we need we're, we're, all waiting, we're all waiting to see which private entity will take over the operations of the electricity company and then how they're going to... We'll see how that goes. Um, six shortlisted ones, and I'm mm. sure that ultimately will come. We'll go online, and uh, we'll have to quickly run through uh, the online pages, uh, but messages. This is Tanko in Tamil. It says, what's happening to Mother Ghana? People taking the law into their own hands. Let's pray this time the police will have enough evidence to prosecute the corporate who attacked the Somenya police station. Well, the fact that the per person uh, in this instance is an army guy, and the army is is going there uh, means a lot to us. It means that we will get to the end of this, uh, I assure you. Uh, this one says, I wanted news updates on my, uh, oh, I'm not sure this is meant for us. This one says, uh, I love your show. Well, we thank you for watching. Kofi Foster from uh, Dentra Bisiasi. Uh, sending us this message this morning. Is that where they, they, they killed them? No, I think this one was, it, was it Dentra or ah. Boase? Ah. Yeah. Not uh, Dentra, but I thought it and was. And this one says, good morning. Uh, okay, so you're just saying good morning to us. Good morning back right at you. Yahya Siddiqui in Wa. Let's quickly do online, Roland. We don't have a lot of time left. Okay, so we're doing major online. And it says that um, why motorists are paying mandatory towing fee from July. Mm. And it's so beginning July 1, vehicle owners will be required to pay a mandatory road safety fee each time they renew their roadworthy certification. You gave us drive. a hint on the show. Yeah, definitely. Mm. It's about the uh, national towing project by the National Road Safety Commission. Just to make sure that cars that are left on the road, 
uh, for example, I had an accident with mm -hmm. a car that was in the middle of the road. Yeah. It wasn't towed. Okay, and I could but, have lost my life by now. Okay, but listen, I'm going to be I'm I'm going to be watching closely because again we're looking for efficiency. Yeah. If there's if I pay this from the first of July mm. as well as for every example, your Ghanaian. Car, for example, your car is mm. a saloon car, so you're yes. going to pay twenty Ghana cities for the whole year. Where that's I know, fine. I know, I, it's, if so it's I possible, pay, it's possible you and I are mm. not going to get stuck on the road. No, that's but fine. But some foolish guy gets stuck on the road. And I'm going to use my car to, like, what happened no, to yeah. me and my car is destroyed. I get it. But I'm saying that if we all, as Ghanaians, begin to pay this mandatory fee from 1st of July, we don't expect to see broken vehicles in the middle of the road. Yeah. We expect to see a toll-free line that as soon as you call, you are sure that there are people. I mean, there should be, for instance, like a towing vehicle parked somewhere on the, on the Tema motorway, for instance. On the Knowing line. that there's yeah. a possibility, yeah. high possibility that... Something like that could happen. Fantastic. If we begin to pay, we're going to watch closely and criticize. Fantastic. That's what you all should know. That's, that's what a citizen <laughs> like you also should demand. When, when we refuse to be um, spectators. I know that when you're in green, you sparkle. Look the way you're talking. But somebody who's not sparkling <laughs> is uh, Tiger Woods. I just saw him. Where is he? Yeah, he's Owen? right there. Let's Owen go to the fourth around. story. Okay. It's the fourth story. Um, yeah, Tiger ah, Woods. Ah, Tiger. For drunk Adiena, drunk. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't, is he, has he been taking drugs? Golf star Tiger Woods was arrested on a drink driving charge in Florida early on Monday morning, police say. Uh, you know, sometimes I don't get it how rich people get media. into bad We're all just human beings. Remember know? how he started falling from the cheating, his wife leaving, and then I his golf I, falling on I the I guess women, women have got something on us and men, too. Charlie, yesterday I was reading a lot Sometimes of comments. A, huh? a woman's co uh, the cover over, banner over you, it's not easy. Yeah, they say, somebody said, and it makes a lot of sense, behind every successful man is a woman. The yeah. woman is a great covering, guys. Don't cheat on us. Yeah, get it. I brought four cry covering. I brought four woman cry covering. Who's the tiger? Who's the tiger? Who's the tiger? Yeah. Yeah. One but of our Tagawu black hopes is in America right now, Charlie. Charlie He's falling Charlie. from grace. And he has a lot of money in the bank too. In the way he can buy his money. <laughs> money is not everything, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess um, you know. Uh, Police vehicle set here. on fire as uh, arrest sparks fresh so many violence. Uh, next story. Okay, video, Martina join follow, follow the ladder challenge <laughs> and look at this. An old song yeah. has now become viral in Ghana. Yeah. We should do something like this. Listen, on the show. it's gone viral in, in Nigeria, in Ghana. It's we should, hard. Do, so we should <laughs> do something like this on the show. And ask, where, where, do you, where do you want to climb? No, no, no. We should ask why things just go viral. <laughs> Charlie, it's, it's the world now. It's the world. Yeah. Social media has just it's the world. something. Else. You can okay. watch the video. Um, and now we have um, if insurance sector. Fails, the economy will fail. CEO of Vanguard Assurance. Yeah, sure. <laughs> As if they pay our claims. Sure, <laughs> all warm. Some of them pay promptly. Some of them pay. You know promptly. what? I had problem with some some of my policies the last month. Yeah. And I'll not tell you my favorite company because it's the best company around. Oh, Insurance is it? Company. Yeah, it is. Okay, but now you are saying that they don't no, pay wait, claims. No, wait, 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 wait. Uh. No, they pay claims. They didn't do my deduction, even though I didn't overdraw <laughs> my accounts. I was wondering. I said, look, I don't want to. Let's say in five, six years yeah. time, I'm coming for my claim. You tell me that. And you say they are the best? <laughs> yeah, they are the best. Oh, you're a typical Ghanaian, aren't you? Yeah, they are the best. <laughs> among, among the world, oh, they are the please, best, man. please. The best. I have the, the best. best. You have the best. I have the best. Right. Prompt claims payments. Yeah. yeah. Text messaging. Wow. Keeping you up. Yeah, 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 and then it's a company. No, which what company? But I okay, let's let's finish. <laughs> the this. company in green. Let's finish. Uh, this. So so we have um, the first story. I let's go to first number one. I think we're done. We've eaten into Benedict's time. Okay. Um, let's let's. The, I think the 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 lead headline, the story that we're all following and and, and waiting to see what the army says. Can you kindly go back to um, myjawline.com? I think there's a picture of the gentleman again. Uh, on our page. Just kindly go up. That's him. Uh, Ami deploys troops <laughs> to Dentra. It's okay, so the place is Dentra or Boise over lynching of Captain. Uh, and oh, the Charlie, nice here, yeah. guy. Oh. All right. Uh, quickly, so Fred, awesome. let's do City FM online. Yeah, so rest in peace. Do City FM. So that same story here, armed forces begins investigation into murder of Captain Mahama. Investors may uh, shun 2.4 billion bond, uh, that's according to an NDCNP, car owners to pay mandatory towing fee from 
Oh, this one says from June. Is it June or July, Roland? July. Okay. So many clash angry resident freed uh, for criminals. That's according to the police. And that's where we have to end it here today. Um, mm? Okay. All right. Uh, we've got lots of messages, uh, but we will share that with you. Uh, and I know I say this every day. I feel guilty saying it again. Um, but today, because we have a conversation that is about all of us and what we want as a people, whether we want um, the security agencies to take care of criminal matters or if we want to take the law into our own hands and deal with things our own way, I'll read all the messages when we get to that segment. Stay with us. We've got Benedict coming up uh, with sports. If you watched his documentary, The Return of Christian Pia, yesterday, there's a part two of that at 630 PM today. Uh, but Benedict did me... two parts of Christian Pia. Yeah. But uh, give me feedback. Benedict, it why? Was, it was like one wh hour. Wh wh why did you do that? Mm? What do you mean by why did you do that? <laughs> Benedict. Give me feedback. How did you enjoy watching that? Give me feedback right here on the WhatsApp platform. But Benedict is up next, after which we'll bring you AM Talk. So stay with us right here on the AM show from Roland myself. We're out now. Benedict is up. <laughs>